here we are getting ready to do a Santa bag and sublimate a Santa bag. The first thing I will do is use my lint roller to get off any remaining lint that could be unseen with the naked eye. I'm gonna then add a sheet of paper, butcher paper, in between the bag just to make sure there's no bleed. No bleed going through to the other side. Done. I'm going to do another little swipe. And then we're going to take our image. Here's our image. It's on mirror, so I'm going to flip it. Um, I've already kind of measured the sides out, so I'm going to measure it, get it right where I want it, make sure it's centered. And then I'm going to tape each edge down. Now you can use however much tape you want. I just do the four corners um, so that I'm not wasting a whole lot of tape. And just a little piece of tape on each corner. These make such great gifts for kids. Um, our traditional stocking stuffers tend to be too small. So in order to fill it with more stuff, these bags make perfect stuffers. They are 16 by 24 inch. All right, so we're here at the heat press. I'm laying a piece of butcher paper across. I do have um, a large heat press. This is a 16 by 24. I have my time, time at 60 and my degree is set at 380. So here we go. All right, so our time has ended. I'm going to remove the butcher paper and the image, the ink release on this paper is absolutely amazing. And let's pull our image off the heat press. And you can see it turns out lovely. So Merry Christmas, Niceless approved, special delivery for Prince. Please do not open until December 25th. Merry Christmas to each of you, and I thank you for watching my video.